The crisis in the APC Enugu State Chapter could thwart presidential candidate Bola Tinubu's foray into the southeastern state. Well, the party is currently divided into a group led by former Senate President or President of the Senate Ken Namani and the other led by State Chairman Ugo Chuku Agbala. Well, in May 2022, the State Executive Committee also expelled former State Chairman Ben Uwoye and five other members for anti-party activities. There are signals that local rivalry in the state chapter may deem the APC's chances in the state. Well, joining us now is the immediate past chairman of Enugu APC, Dr. Ben Uwoye. Thank you so much for coming on the news. Welcome. <laughs> looks like a lot of confusion in APC Enugu State. What is actually happening? Uh, the division and the potential to thwart the chances of a Bola Tinubu? No, the, the division is there because uh, someone was imposed as a chairman of the party, a non-member of the party, was uh, imposed by some powers that be. So that imposition led to a protest by leadership of the party from the former state, uh, former uh, Senate president, mm -hmm. to the former governor of Enugu State, Solomon Shime, to the present uh, minister for foreign affairs, mm -hmm. and many other leadership of the party protested even before this leadership of national uh, national leadership of the party when the senator senator uh, Ablahim was just the chairman of the reconciliation committee mm -hmm. it was presented to him that there was no election there was no congress in Enugu state they refused now when it started when Ugabala took over based on the people that installed him he decided to work against the party, against the interest. If you look at the primary that went on, the Ugabala and those who put him in power did not want Bola Ahmed Tinibu to win the election. They were supporting a northern candidate. And in that regard, they even went as far as changing names of people in delegate lists. Mm. And we fought against it. And now that Bola Ahmed Tinibu has emerged, what it did was those of us who are from the the defunct ACN extraction. They try to sideline us, they try to disparage us, and they try to put up stories that we've been uh, expelled mm -hmm. because he's working for the opposition Labour Party, whom, which is the party he once ran for as a Guba candidate under the former APGA. So these are the things that, of course, we resisted. And we've gone time without number to the National Secretary of APC, informing him that this man is running the party a grant. You can't have everybody in the party excluded, expelled, threatened, and in a year of election. So we are doing all we can. It will not affect the Bola Metinibu's campaign because we are doing all we can. We have a lot of heavyweights with us. But you're not speaking with one voice. There's no unity. I mean, the yeah. disarray, you you were chased away from the party as the sitting chairman along with four or five other members and the rest. So it does not look as if uh, the center is holding in Enugu APC. It is not quite correct. You have to look at who are the people in this party? Who are the big names in the party? You are looking at the former Senate president, mm -hmm. Senator Kenny Namani. The former governor of Enugu State, mm -hmm. His Excellency Sullivan Chime, the, the now, the current foreign affairs minister, Geoffrey Onyama, Osito Kichuku, uh, Julia Di Bekako, even the former, the immediate past Guba candidate, Senator Ayogweze, all these people are speaking in one voice. Mm -hmm. The only person speaking for himself, for himself alone because he wants the party to fail mm -hmm. is Ugabala. So when you name all these big wigs, we are all together. We are all on one corner, doing grassroots for Tinibu, Ahmed Tinibu. We are involved in the presidential campaign. Bakbala, campaign. isn't he the one that the national uh, secretariat recognizes of the APC as the chairman of the APC in the state? You know, I started by telling uh, you that. Yeah. That is correct. Before, before, so how, so how, how are you going to sideline him mm -hmm. when well, uh, the national secretariat, you national know, working committee, is uh, with him? 
no one is sidelining anyone. What we are pointing out is that this man that was imposed by the former national chairman to become the second, sorry, national secretary, not one is the chairman, that this man is working against the party. Yeah. Is working against the, the interests of the Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Okay. Uh, and speaking about the Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he, he was in Enugu recently. Uh, mm -hmm. Your team, your faction, was not present at the rally. Were you present at the rally? We didn't see the likes of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. We didn't see the likes of Ken, former President of Senate Kenny Namani on the campaign ground. Why was that so? And But let me also ask you, because it's not just about having two factions. There's yeah. also this allegation of uh, fraud corruption. 1.3 billion ad last time I checked. Uh, so that's another issue on ground. In fact, the PDP in Enugu State said the ESS should investigate the APC. That's another matter. But, you know, all of this crisis does pave the way for the PDP and other parties in the state. And yet you say, you know, you are working on ground, you have power weights such as Ken Namani, Joffrey Oyema, and others. How does that work? It, it, it works. If you look at what happens during the rally, we got an intel that this Ugabala and some of few people supporting him, mm -hmm. they want to embarrass leadership of the party. Okay, when we looked at what they were planning to do mm -hmm. at the campaign grind, we organized a welcoming reception for Bola Metinibu. If you look at that day, we were on ground to where to receive Bola Metinibu. There was a huge rally for him at the airport. There was a huge reception for him. What he had planned, because again, Uga Bala is working for the Labour Party. And I've said it repeatedly, because he has a relationship with the now Labour Party candidate, Mr. Pitobi, when he ran for governor on the APGA. So on the handedly, He's trying to make sure that we lost, but then we are resisting it. Mm -hmm. So when you're resisting a situation and you've gone to the National Secretariat and we've presented credible information to them, they are paying just blind, just, de you know, willful deafness and willful blindness. What do you do? We do the best we can by moving on. We have supporters. So in okay. that instance, are you not fighting a lost cause when you say you've reported to the National Working Committee, yet they are play, paying a blind eye? Isn't that a lost cause? Like you're preaching to the choir. Absolutely. Your National Working Committee seems to be on the side of Ugo Agbala. They, they are not. Here's what is happening. You are in an election period. Uh -huh. And during an election period, sometimes what you have is party administrators believing that they cannot change leadership mm -hmm. within such time. You mentioned the issues of corruption. Yes. Millions of dollars, which allegedly was taken over by this man. Those who wrote that petition, they have credible information. They have credible evidence that this guy took up this money and refused to give it to them. You, you have close to a billion naira also mentioned. These are real figures and they've presented it. But when you are involved in an election, in some instances, Party managers, they are worried that if they touch leadership, something will go off. Because again, they have a candidate of their own chosen there. However, it doesn't affect our grassroots movement. We have the ICC. We have the people who are working on the ground. If you, my, my own self, personally, we have people, our followers, mm -hmm. who are working to ensure that we receive enough vote for a victory for our candidate. Well, All I'm right, saying. let's hope so. Um, uh, the dates are not uh, too far away, starting mm -hmm. in 25 days' time. That's when the election, the general election doors mm -hmm. will open. Thanks so very much, Dr. Ben Woye, former chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Enugu State.